out at our local Goodwill on a very chilly Thursday. We're gonna go in here and see if we can find something to flip online for a profit. These are actually, looks like it's gonna be a good size, bigger size usually so. So do check out these Duluth pants. It's a good size. I think they're like a 4830. Good brand. Duluth Trading is a really good brand to resell. Thing is, now pants are about $7 at the Goodwill. And these are just a little bit worn. As you can tell, there's a couple holes in the back of them. The fronts are really worn. So I did have to leave those behind. This is Democracy Weekend, made in USA. Feel it. Ew, it feels weird. Look at the price tag. $116. And then they knocked it down to $26.99. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. It's nice. Is it? Well, then, yeah, if you think. It's like vintage. Is it? Don't you think it is? I have no idea. Somebody would wear that. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There you go. Looks good to me. At this Goodwill, not the one we were just at, because the one we just at had a whole bunch of nothing. There's a couple of massagers. There's a big difference between this massager right here and this one. This one is nice. This is the um, Brookstone Programmable Big Massager. It says no something, no XX3. I don't know what that would even mean. Maybe the settings don't work it looks like it's in really good condition a lot of times this will get messed up and it won't work but we'll go plug it in all right and see if this bad boy works there you go she's working pause oh wait a second none of the buttons work oh program yeah Perfect. This is an expensive uh, massager right here. Yeah, all of them work. Perfect. For five bucks, that's a good deal. What do you got? They're... But I looked at the brand and the brand's not that great. But they're... So like you put this on your neck. Yeah. And these hang. What is that? That's like the charging. Oh, that's ridiculous. So that's you old. you charge that. Nobody's going to wear that thing nowadays. Not when you have AirPods. That's true. They want $4. $4? This Maker Marks thing. Look at those placemats. These are like trays. Trays, bamboo. You could get those and breakfast in bed for me. <laughs> no? This Maker Marks thing is neat. It's like a, I'll take a picture of that. And uh, I did just look this up. This is the good one and online. It goes for 150 bucks pre-owned. So they're always a good buy when it comes to those. This Maker Marks thing is nifty. Look at it. it's a napkin holder, 45 bucks. That's it. It's crazy. It's a napkin caddy. Well, they're selling it for 45. Don't ever get in the trap of what it's listed for and what it's sold for because Kayla's favorite thing to say is, but is it sold for 45? I do not say it like that. What? How do you say it? But did it sell? But did it sell? For that? But did it sell for that? One's listed, oh no, one's listed for $10. One's listed for 35. We're getting closer. Sold, none sold. Oh no, one sold for 15, brand new. One sold for 15, one sold for 20. Um, how much do you want for it? We want three bucks. Nice jar, obviously. Oh, that's nice. That would be so much better than that thing that you bought yeah, at, nice. the, at ours. The yeah. There's a plant. Yeah. Oh, so it was the one in the kitchen that we got at Goodwill. That's the trapped spiders in your house. Ah! No? I don't think it's that old. I don't know. Is that milk glass? No. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Bless you. Bless you twice. It's an old jewelry box. Is there any jewelry in it? 
No jury. Yes. I actually don't know what that would be for. I've never seen one. It's called a high and dry. Uh, what are you doing with the your indention? I don't know. It's not in that good a shape on that side. But the indention on that, I have no idea. I Man, I'll tell you what. That is a pretty chair. It is a. Uh, it's. They're saying it's cherry blossom pattern, brown wood chair. It's got inlays of mother of pearl on it, and like a very. But they're asking two hundo. Two hundred bucks for this bad boy. She's made pretty well. Um. But I'm not feeling the two hundred dollar price tag. I don't think it's even. I think it's at $200 a chair, so $400 for the set. Um, it's gonna be a pass, but pretty neat looking. That's pretty cool, Maine China. Yeah, I don't know if the coolest golf sucks. We're looking over here at the hats. Dollar Hat did a hat thing the other day on whatnot. It was very nice. Thanks for everybody coming out. Oops, sorry. I actually sold that hat the other day, the Jim Bean Racing hat. Sold for a couple bucks. This hat's pretty neat. Check that out. I would say that it's older. Where is it made? Tell by the netting on the inside. 100% uh, cotton made in Guatemala. Look at that thing. Oh yeah, that's a good looking hat. Super clean too. Super, super clean. I think we're gonna go ahead and get that. That's pretty cool. Purses. I'm trying to get my knowledge on purses. We sell a lot of purses on whatnot and also on eBay and also wallets. Because you go to the store, wallets nowadays are like 20, 30 bucks. You ain't got no money to put in your wallet after that. What did you get? Did you see this cool hat? Ooh, that is cool. I mean, Guatemala. I guarantee that thing's worth like 20 or 30 bucks. How about my tree? Oh, I don't know how much he's worth. What is he? He's yeah. a bank. How oh, is he? He is a bank. Whoa. But how would you put mm. him in? Wait a second. I think he's a candle. Did you open this? No. Oh. Oh, We're gonna. I got. No, I don't have to take a picture of it. I got a substance on my hand here. Or unless the, it goes in there. His mouth? Why does he have a hole in his head? Uh, I don't know. I didn't want to get that brown. Any type of brown substance I usually don't like touching. Reminds me of my old days of being the police. Yeah. Wisdom tree. Storybook. It's from Harry Potter. Is it? That's what it says. Harry Potter. Oh, this is pagan Wiccan incense holder. Oh yeah. That's, that's what I saw. When oh, I, was like, I saw Harry Potter. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know, but he ain't coming home with us. This is what I look like in the morning. That's me in the morning, right there. This is actually old. This made in 2000 and uh, 2014. Get a picture of this guy real quick. Seven bucks. No, no, I can tell by the weight. Uh, it might be. Hmm. Probably not. That's a pretty cool a little jury box down here. Any jury in it? No? That's pretty nice. We sold a couple of jewelry boxes for Coffin Burrow. Didn't even know they made jewelry boxes. Who's this one? box there this is an open. <laughs> that's a good find it's all messed up master's collection vest is there any holes in it no that's a good little find give me like five more of these
So if you're wondering how we ship these items, we ship them in our gyro pack poly bags. They're the cheapest around. If you use my code Beater Thrift Machine, you get 10% off your first order. Masters. It's always invigorating uh, when you find something that looks, it's not bad. I mean, it's not in the best condition, but anything Masters still so still got a little elastic in its elasticity. I don't see any stains on it. It does have to be washed. It's got a lot of hair. But that's pretty good. Driven. Look at this motor postcards. What year are these things? Well, it says 1958. I don't think. 2000. Still 23 years old. does have a uh, it does have a barcode I mean, some of these postcards go for a lot of money not those in particular but Apple a day keeps the doctor away be wise save oh you're supposed to be a bank it just never was cut pretty interesting is that pewter no not pewter silver fetgo huh oh is that treadmaster no it's not huh. check it out Masters. Pretty nice. Something molds. That's it. N novels? Novels? Molding? 1984? It's not ceramic though. It's like very heavy duty. Ratko? There you go. That's a cute little cup. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's cute. Seaside Santa. Tampa, Florida. Is that what they do in Tampa, Florida? Is that a, what is this? I have no idea. It's made in India. Hmm. Huh. What is it? It's cool it's it a cooler. Cool it cooler. Just cool it. Looks like something they would give away, or you would get at a grocery store to put your wine bottle in. Mm. Right? Maybe. I could be wrong. I usually am, but. We got Kayla up here looking at something at the front. It's all her on her phone. Let's go up there and see what she's looking at. I was already up here once. Maybe she found something good. Nothing. I thought you were looking something up. No. Did you see there? Oh, the chairs are gone. Somebody bought them for four hundred dollars. Yeah, a guy just walked it. That guy right there. He was. Yeah, he's got a bunch. Wow. They had like pearls. Yeah, they had mother of pearl in them. Yeah. They were probably worth twenty grand. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I did look at them. People on the people on the internet with us. Didn't even get a chance to look at them. They're they four. Were gone. 400 bucks. Huh. 199 a piece. That guy said, that's worth that chair. What did you find already? I was in the car chatting with the parents. Whoa. It does have a little spot on the sleeve. Yeah. Looks like it was like burnt. Oh, yeah. But. I mean, for seven bucks, I'm going to buy it for 15. Yeah. 15 or 20. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Old Patagucci up in here. What is that one? Looks like a Dickies. I was right, Dickies coveralls. Yeah, they're in good condition. They're in good condition. I don't, I think it's just a little poopage. Yeah. No, they're nice. Good job. That's a good it's size. Like, Extra yeah. large tall. That's nice. Good job. All right. Hit the jackpot here with all of these. I actually walked by these like five or six times. We're going to go show Kayla 
these things right here oh there you are check this out they were actually just sitting on the end um they're all orvis but they're called jackson quick dry and they're size 32 smaller sizes they almost look new just they got two of those tags were just ripped off yeah um and it looks like brand new they're 60 bucks used they go for 30 dollars probably 25 bucks a piece here um i think shorts are how much i don't say where it says shorts at but i'm thinking shorts are going to be like probably four bucks so you're talking twenty dollar profit on each one of these bad boys and they're good colors too i know it's a shame that i eat too many hamburgers because these are not my size so you're talking two four six eight there's a hundred dollars right there in profit what did you find oh uh, these are these are for you well let's see what you pick up for yourself joshua tree national park say no to drugs says, dare is that for yeah, you <laughs> and then you got a uh, vineyard vines they have, sleep, sure. they have a vineyard vines uh canvas bag over there and what else did you get here for yourself oh no this isn't for myself but i was gonna look it up blake shelton lands in lands in uh that's a like a low-end brand is it yeah lower end brand i think it's like a walmart brand so mm -hmm. might want to look it up though I can't believe I passed up those orifices so many times. So that was a really good uh, trip there. We, I mean, you found Patagonia. Now it's not the, uh, you know, it's got an issue with it, but I guarantee it's gonna be worth some decent money. And then the shorts again were really, really good. They were actually $4.89 at the Goodwill. But I think that some of these have sold, and these are good colors too. So, um, you know, now's the time to pick up shorts because it will be warm before you know it, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be warm so fast. And I think that we can probably get 25 to $30 a piece here. They're all the same size. And sometimes we lot things up the same size, but we probably will not do that here, right? Mm -hmm. Probably list them all separately. Yeah. And you're talking probably two, four, six, eight, again, $100 in profit there. Everything was like 45 bucks in there. And I think your coveralls will probably go for that much, possibly. So not bad, the easy $150 made, on to the next. We are out at our booth at Bounty hunter's emporium we'll see exactly what's sold uh, we haven't been here in a while what five days six days we have some tickets to pick up also to put more stuff in the booth so let's go see in there if anybody has one stop by the booth and two if anything sold at the booth she looks empty looking bare looking bare i think some things have sold something the duck sold um a, a crescent wrench sold looks like a santa sold we definitely sold some of our ornaments from the beer thrift machine um but we definitely need to put more stuff in here she's looking a little bare christmas tree thing here sold was something in there no no yeah all this a lot of your um bracelets sold and you a lot of your necklaces sold so that's pretty good let's see who has stopped by we have a lot more people that have stopped by and uh check out the pins we got pins everywhere. Uh, I just don't know, folks, if if this is true or not. We did we did have somebody say that they were from like Washington State or Oregon, so that that pin's legit. The rest we just don't know. And uh, so we have Robert and Cindy. We have Michael and Leslie that stopped by. Thank you so much. Said you watch all of our videos. We much appreciate it. Mike and Mary, it looks like. Thank you so much. And and also Priscilla and Franco for stopping by. We much appreciate it. Said you'll see us on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. And then we did have a couple letters in our little letter thing. Mary and Mike, y'all had given us a little uh, letter here. Thank you so much. And also uh, Michael and Leslie. Thank you so much. So a lot of people stopped by the booth. We saw it looks like some stickers too. How many stickers did you have here? The decals. Oh, I had a lot more than that. Yeah, it turns out we sold, I think, a ton of the Bearded Thrift Machine little cooler stickers. Um, these actually right here have sold online too. They're in our, all also on our Etsy store. In our Etsy store, which are almost sold out. We only have two in the booth. We'll make some more. So we do appreciate it. Timing is everything at the Goodwill. We were here at nine o'clock this morning, right when they opened and found absolutely nothing. Nothing was in here. So what we're gonna do is come in at 3 p.m in the afternoon and see if it changed. See if there's still nothing or see if they put out some good stuff to flip a line for a profit. Did you put your cart, um, your buggy away? I did. Really? Yeah. Rip. Right off the rip, uh, you found some Carhartt stuff and it's a 2XL tall. That is a pretty good shirt right there. That's a nice shirt. 
That's probably like 30, 40 bucks. If I've ever seen a shirt worth that much. It's Dr. Pepper. What do you got here? It's a brand, almost brand new. It doesn't have a tag, but it's a 31 bag. It even comes with this. Yeah. Is that 31 also? But it doesn't have a price tag. This is brand new. Well, it's it's 199. Any bag without a price tag is 199. Really? Yeah. 100%. There's nothing in there. Mm -hmm. No, this is still brand new. Look, look at the stuff. Dude, that's a pretty good little deal right there. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, I was just over here and grabbed that and moved it aside. Oh, I didn't know what it was. But I did check out this. Uh, this is called. Oh, we have. Wait a second. Don't we have another one of those? No. I don't think we've ever found this brand before. It's called Outdoor Research. I mean, it's not like a huge brand name, but one of them's gone over a hundred bucks because it was some specialty one. Mm -hmm. And I haven't found. Look, it's like a, oh, it's like wow. totally mesh. Huh. So it's pretty cool. Some of their stuff's very expensive, and this is super clean hat. Uh, again, a special edition went over a hundred dollars. I'm thinking this one probably twenty to thirty because we don't see this on eBay. The actual design here, so that ain't too bad. Um, that was not here earlier because I was also in the bin that said that the hat bin whoa some of them yeah some of them are like super rare I what know. is it i just grabbed you got you got both you got that one it's called buyer's choice ltd the carolers 1989 they have an old face 99 cents did they just put them out yeah timing is everything i'm telling you look i got a um a real nice uh i know with tommy bahama it's not like something we look for but this one's a really nice print at a good size hmm, yeah extra extra large that ain't too bad Does yours have a hat? no, no. we got one going for i mean for 99 cents both 30 bucks I mean, 14 they're all over the place it all depends on what you get that one went for 75 41 yeah that's good that's really good what a solid Goodwill trip right there. We got some Carhartt. We got some a good Tommy Bahama. Usually Tommy Bahama we don't buy uh, often. And then you found the vintage little uh, carolers with the. They are so scary. They are kind of scary faces. But I mean, right there, everything has to do with timing because this stuff wasn't there earlier. These guys can go for twenty, thirty dollars a piece. Carhartt's easy another twenty, thirty. The Tommy Bahamas probably fifteen. Okay, and the thirty-one bag was only one ninety-nine. So. We are out at our storage unit. If you want to know what we sell, we actually had this brought up a couple of times, is that uh, people are asking exactly what we sell, how fast we sell things. That's on our other channel called The Flip Squad. We do what's sold there in the daily, you know, like grind of being an online reseller. And uh, also, we want to thank the Goodwill for actually changing a couple of things they saw in our, in our video. And they end up changing a couple of things about individually priced and stuff. Our Goodwill, I still say, and I think you all most agree, is one of the better ones with our prices. Like Carhartt shirts are still $4.89. We got good, you know, other shirts for $4.89. All those Orvis things were, you know, pretty cheap 489 and these are going to sell for 25 to 30 dollars so you're getting a 20 dollar profit on each item so that ain't too bad i do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe. i want to go ahead and interrupt this video real quick because we just hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. We do appreciate it. We cannot do this without y'all and that is very sincere from the bottom of our hearts. We can't go on these trips. We can't even do this YouTube channel without y'all actually watching what you do, supporting what you do, hitting the like button, giving comments down below, subscribing, sharing the channel. You guys have been doing this for over three years and we're now we just hit 100,000, which is a milestone in the YouTube world. You get a play button, you get some I think that's about it. You get a play button and a little check mark, I think. This is just the beginning for this channel. You guys are always supporting us. We'd like to see your comments. It is actually y'all that did this. We just make YouTube videos and y'all watch them. And it's y'all's 100,000 milestone, really, because we can't do it without you. For the, the bottom of uh, Kayla and I's heart, thank you so much. This is just the beginning when it comes to this channel. We have a lot of big ideas for 2024 you'll probably see in the next couple of videos uh they were actually filmed like a couple of days ago and i've already edited them and it's probably gonna you're gonna hear me say hey we're almost at a hundred thousand that's because the next i think two videos i've already pre-done because we are uh, taking a little time to brainstorm some really good ideas for 2024 for content and whatnot ideas and everything like that and merch ideas so 
If you hear that in the next couple of videos, I know we've already hit it and uh, we do appreciate it. And I'm gonna sign out for the 100,000 uh, subscriber milestone with a big old bang. So I do appreciate y'all. Watch, remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.